I'm here today to present Senate Bill 822, which uh, the formal uh, tax relief uh, tax credit is called the Senior Citizen Property Tax Relief Credit, but our constituents and a lot of us in this building call it the circuit breaker. Uh, during the interim, uh, partially because a lot of the work that uh, we did in the legislature, there was a lot of talk about property taxes and uh, heard repeatedly from seniors in my district that they were still looking for relief and um, are just you know looking for everything we can do to help make their limited fixed income go a little bit further so the legislation that i filed that you're looking at this afternoon will give seniors and folks with disabilities more immediate relief from property taxes so they can stay in their homes and communities longer. This tax credit is already in place. It's been in place since 1973. Um, it, it, but the reason we have the language here in front of you today is because the numbers have not been adjusted since 2008. And um, as you know, a lot of things have changed since 2008. So uh, this bill will that the numbers will be updated and it can help more directly offset costs related to property taxes. So increasing home values and the property taxes often can tax older people right out of their homes. And, you know, all of the data that we know about is that seniors do the best if they can stay in their house for as long as possible, stay in their communities for as long as possible. So to reflect the current makeup of the economy, this legislation will just increase the maximum income limit and the maximum credit amount, as well as tie both to inflation. So when legislators come after us, they don't have to continue to, to revisit this. So um, we'll, we'll tie things so, to inflation so that they're indexed and stay adjusted. And these improvements that you're considering this afternoon would directly benefit nearly 300,000 Missourians. Uh, with that, I'm happy to take any questions.